so in last video we have connected our project to the mongodb properly now in this video we are going to work with models so best practice of creating model is create one folder named models and let me just create one file in this particular folder saying hero model dot js and in this particular hero model we are going to have hero name and name name means actual name of that superhero and uh, hero name means uh, it's a uh, superhero name of that particular person for example if it is batman uh, that is the hero name uh, then actual name is uh, bruce wayne so that's what we are going to build in this particular project so let me just import mongoose like how we imported there by saying const mongoose is equal to require mongoose and in this particular file we are going to create model so const hero schema is equal to mongoose dot schema so in this particular schema we are going to define blueprint of those two things which i said in the beginning of this video saying superhero name and name so superhero name is hero super hero name is going to be string so we are going to set the type as a string and next thing is uh, we are going to set the name and name is also is going to be type of a string let me just type it properly string then name is also is going to be required so that without name they can't create the superhero so required colon true so once we have created hero schema that is the blueprint of model we need to create model itself so we can create it by saying is saying export module dot export exports is equal to mongoose dot mongoose dot model and in this particular model we are going to name it that is name is hero and hero schema so last line denotes that it's going to create model named hero and it's going to use this particular hero schema so once we have created the model then we can uh, get started with the uh, using it in uh, our uh, server.js let me just import it uh, const hero is equal to require dot slash model slash hero model and we can use this particular hero model uh, in the project itself so let me just get all the heroes from the database at the moment there are no heroes but uh, creating this particular thing is easy so in order to get hero we need to use async function just think of async as something like this whenever we are communicating with one third party thing that is not this particular folder but uh, this particular mongoose database so that time uh, we need to send one asynchronous request that's why we need to add a try catch here with the async here so that we can use uh, await function in this particular uh, file so let me just get uh, heroes uh, is equal to hero dot find it's going to list us uh, all the heroes which are uh, required uh, for us so let me just type here uh, res dot json we can just type it as heroes now it's going to give us entire heroes object itself if any error comes let me just log error so that we can get it now if i just go to postman and send one get request to super heroes then we might get some error also or it might work okay it gave us little bit error here so let's just fix it okay so the fix to this particular error is easy we just have to type await 
as i said in the beginning saying uh, it needs to have that particular uh, await functionality in order to get us the data properly so if i just run, send uh, the get request to superheroes it's going to give us one empty array if there were actually superheroes present then it's going to give us the superhero list itself so let me just uh, go ahead and uh, work with that particular uh, thing that is create new superhero so in order to create superhero we need to create some middleware here so let's just create one middleware middleware is nothing but just housekeeping stuff uh, so that uh, everything in our application works properly so in order to create middleware it's very easy app dot user and uh, express dot json so if i just type this particular thing it's going to work so in order to create new superhero we need to get that particular superhero from the front end in order to get it we need to create one function just like how we have created there so that function can be try catch it should be inside try catch and we need to put async function also here so if any error comes let me just console dot log that particular error and in the try block we are going to create superhero so await super not superhero just hero hero dot create and here we need to send some things that is in this particular model we have written right superhero name and name so superhero name is we have to type super hero name and did i write superhero name here yeah so in superhero name we can get it by saying request dot body dot superhero name and name also same way request dot body dot name and this much is going to create that particular superhero name request dot body dot superhero name means here in this particular body with the raw and we are going to send uh, json so in this particular place we are going to type one curly bracket and we are going to send super hero name and we are going to name it as uh, maybe iron man and actual name of that particular superhero also we have to send we'll name it as tony stark and just make sure you are going to send uh, post request not anything else and here let's just create one uh, one message saying rush dot json message saying superhero created so if i just save it it's going to send us that particular message or it's going to give us error so let me just send it it's it's saying superhero created but how to view those how to view that superhero by just going to get request here and if i just send it it's going to display that particular superhero and it's going to give us id in mongoose and mongodb this particular id is automatically generated so that we can identify each and every document uniquely so let me just create another superhero by sending one post request and instead of iron man this time i am going to send pete parker okay that's actually superhero name and we are going to name him spider man the name is pete parker so if i just click on send it's going to say that superhero created and if i just send get request to superheroes it's going to list down two superheroes that is one is spider-man and another is iron man with their actual names so now let's just try to get one single superhero using this particular id so that we are going to get just spider-man at the moment if i just send it it's going to show that superhero id is this particular id 
but we actually need to get uh, properly with the whoever the hero name is so same way async function we have to create uh, and we have to type uh, try catch and in this particular catch uh, we are going to just type uh, long and we are going to type it as error so that whatever the error comes we can see it and in try we need to get a single superhero this time so we are going to get that superhero hero const hero is equal to hero that is our model dot find but this time in this particular thing we have to type it as find by id so that hero dot find by id it is going to give us uh, if we just send id here id is coming from here and that can be accessed by saying request dot that is here this request is there right, from front end that request dot not body params dot superhero id and this particular thing needs to await just like uh, here we have written await and uh, we are going to res dot json hero itself so if i now go here and if i send it it's going to give me spider-man so next we are going to work with the editing superhero it's also same thing it's like uh, it's also very easy let me just create it here as always async function and try catch programming is almost very easy when you are like uh, understand like how does all this particular thing works so once you are familiar with it you are going to build amazing applications so console dot log error and in this particular thing we need to get superhero id as well as update it so doing that is easy we just need to await uh, just like how we create uh, here yeah same way instead of creating uh, we can just type uh, hero dot uh, find by id and uh, update just type it properly find by id and update and we need to send one id here id can be coming from request dot uh, params dot uh, superhero id and whatever the thing which we need to edit we can edit it by exactly like how it's written here superhero name and this thing we need to just make sure that uh, we send both of these things so that uh, it name it remembers it properly so if i just send put request and instead of spider-man i'll just uh, type uh, spider-man uh, edited and instead of peter parker i'll just send it as a peter parker renamed i'll just send one put request here if i send it it's not going to show anything because i didn't send one message here saying rush dot json message hero is updated if i just save it now if i send it again it's going to say that hero is updated how do you know how do we know that hero is actually updated we can send one get request to this particular thing and it's going to say spider-man edited and name is peter parker renamed so we have created editing also now one last thing that is deleting this particular thing so deleting it also is very easy we just have to send one uh, create one asynchronous function like how we created before and uh, try catch Cre creating it again and again is going to improve your uh, programming skills uh, so don't be afraid to create it again and again or feel like huh, it's very lazy why should i create it creating again and again is only is going to improve your mind with the programming so let me just log error and here also same thing it's like uh, await uh, find 
model name we have to type that is hero dot find by id and delete so we just need to send id id will come from request dot params dot superhero id and once it's sent we can just type res dot json with the message saying superhero deleted so if i just save it it's not going to work because yeah so now it's going to work so let me just go to another tab and uh, let me just uh, list down superheroes http colon slash slash local host colon 3000 and if i just enter it's saying api server is running but we need to go to superheroes and in this particular file also it's saying spiderman is edited and uh, let me just uh, now delete uh, tony stark because he died in last movie right not because that we want to learn how does deleting work so delete request we have to send with the iron man's id so let me just remove this particular id and paste iron man's id let's just make sure it's iron man's 9271 last number here also 9271 last number if i just send it it's going to say that superhero deleted and now if i try to access uh, this particular thing it's saying spider-man edited and uh, peter park renamed there is no iron man in it because we just deleted the iron man so that's it for this particular project guys and we just created one uh, crud so now you can connect this particular thing with the whatever the front end application you are uh, creating using react uh, no react angular uh, or uh, vue.js or any kind of android app also works with this so that's it for this video guys if you like this series uh, then uh, don't forget to subscribe me in youtube and uh, see you in some other video another time bye bye